I wanna be loved by you, just you, nobody else but you. I wanna be loved by you alone. Boop, boop, Working with colors and the Pop Art Creator Pro, we will cover how to work with masks and some techniques on getting the best results. Once you have run the main action, you will have a folder called Colors with five colors in it one, two, three, four, five, and the main color, which in this case is the black. All of them are labeled accordingly, so we have background, hair, eyeshadow, lipstick, and skin. So, let us clean up and start from scratch. Okay, let us examine what the colors actually are. I'm going to set Photoshop to show only the colors and make the panel a little bit bigger so I can explain a little better. Each color layer consists of two parts. One, it consists of the thumbnail of the actual color and the other is the mask. If the mask is black, you cannot see the color. If it is white, the color is shown. So, if I were to select the layer mask and press Command i for invert, you will be able to see the color and if I press Command I or Control I for PC, the color is gone. In the same way, if I was to take a brush and select a white color and draw on the mask, then the color would be revealed. In the same way, if I am to change the color back to black and draw, you will see that the color is going away. There are a couple of shortcuts that will speed up this process. One is D on the keyboard. This will reset your colors to black and white. And the other one is X. X will change the color. So if I am to draw with the white, then press X on the keyboard and draw again, that will be the eraser. And then I press X, that will be the brush. With my layer mask selected, not the color, the layer mask, I'm going to go ahead and draw in some color. I am going to speed up this process a little bit. You can be as precise or as grunge as you like to be, this is completely up to you. And remember, if you make a mistake, you can always press X and erase it. Now that we got our first color in place, we can go on to the second one, the yellow hair. If we start putting in the color and go over the orange, you can see that the two colors, they overlap. I will show you how to avoid that. If we go back to the first color, the background, the BG, and we select the layer mask and press command or control on the PC, you will see that a little hand appears with a square. Then you can click on the mask. This will create a selection of the mask that we have created. A selection will allow us to draw only inside of the selected area. If we now go back to the yellow layer hair and select the mask, we will be able to draw but only inside of the selected area. We want to draw on the other side of this selected area, so we press Command Shift I or Control Shift I on PC. This will invert the selection and if we draw, it will not go on the part of the orange. Let me once again speed the process up a little bit. Now we're going to go to the next layer, the eyeshadow, but before we do that, we will select the hair layer mask, press Command and Alt, and you can see that there is a little minus sign on the mask now. We will do this to add to the mask that already exists. So, now we select the eyeshadow. Now that the eyeshadow is selected, we press Command and Alt again to subtract the selection. Same to the lips. OK, Command, Alt and click once again. Now the reason why we subtracted the selection is because of the skin, the final layer that we're going to color in. Now we can simply go left and forward and fill in the skin layer. I like to keep the eyes white and also the mouth if there is teeth. I don't like to color that in. And there you go. 
I will now press Command and D on the keyboard to deselect the selection. And that is finished. I will now go back to the original view. OK. You can always adjust each layer separately. You can, for example, take the skin and double click on the color and change the color as you wish. And that is it. That is your colors. They are finished. <laughs>